All right, everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's uh, sort of Tuesday, uh, December 22nd, 2020, and usually you'd be getting a PIX video right now, and that'll be coming soon, but at the same point in time, we're also at the point where a lot of teams can clinch playoff uh, spots this weekend. Uh, we're at, so we're going to go over the Week 16 NFL playoff scenarios real quick, uh, kind of go over what could happen this week. We'll start with the AFC. Already clinched, the Bills are the AFC East champions, the Kansas City Chiefs are the uh, AFC West champions, and the Steelers have a playoff spot, you know, not exactly like it's not exactly good that the Steelers are have a playoff spot, but they will be in the playoffs um, regardless of everything. So uh, we'll look at now the Cleveland Browns. Uh, they can clinch a playoff berth with one of the following situations. Um, if they win and uh, it's basically the, the three scenarios are Cleveland has to win this weekend um, and they play the Jets. Very good opportunity for them. And Baltimore has to either, Baltimore has to lose to the Giants. Miami has to lose to the Raiders or uh, Indy has to lose to, to the Steelers. So uh, one of those three teams has to lose. Not very likely with, with all three of them. I think all three of them teams are going to win this weekend. So we get some more uh, extended drama, I believe. Um, and it, that kind of goes for the Colts, too. They have less scenarios. Um, they don't. If, if Cleveland loses and they win, they don't clinch a playoff spot for some reason. I think there's some weird stuff going on there and they're kind of different. Whatever. Um, but... With um, for Indy, who can also clinch a playoff spot this weekend, um, you know the Cleveland plays the Jets, uh, Indy plays the Steelers, which that seems like a hard game, but I mean the way the Steelers are playing lately, they're exhausted. We we just seen what happened against the Bengals. Um, you know the Steelers need a week off bad. They're hurt. They're they're down bad. It's it's not looking good. But for the Colts anyway, it's looking pretty good. They're one of the hotter teams in football right now. They're scoring well. They're playing good defense. Uh, they should be able to win this weekend, and you know if they get lucky, maybe Baltimore loses to the Giants somehow, or Miami gets beat by the Raiders. That's the most likely one for Cleveland and Indy. Um, so, you know, but yeah. So if my, say Miami loses, Indy wins, and Cleveland wins, I think that's the end of the AFC playoffs. That locks it up, um, especially because in the AFC South, we go all the way down here. The uh, the Titans can clinch the division win if they win, like, and Indy loses. So. They could, they, if they win, they're in, basically. Also, the Titans can clinch their playoff spot if they win or if Miami or Baltimore were to lose. So the Titans can clinch this weekend with a win, a uh, Miami loss or a Baltimore loss. Um, they can win their division if Indy were to get beat by the Colts and the Titans were to win in Green Bay. Very hard game for the Titans. That should be the game of the week. It's Sunday night football. It's going to be a <laughs> – I cannot wait to watch that. Um, the Steelers can clinch the, a uh, the AFC North right now with, uh, they, if they win, they win the, uh, they just have to win a game. They win the, win a game, they win the AFC North title. They can do that, but we'll see. Uh, Cle or if Cleveland were to lose somehow to the Jets, Pittsburgh would clinch their division. Uh, we know the Steelers play the Colts. They look like crap the last few games. They look exhausted. Uh, they look beat down. They look injured. They look slow. They look like they need a day off. And going to play one of the better teams in the Colts on a short week, not exactly the greatest thing for a team that's uh, the way the Steelers are looking. Uh, the Chiefs, I guess, are the last team we can go over here for the AFC. Um, they play the Atlanta Falcons, so pretty much just a walkthrough. So they'll go to 14-1. and one. Um, and that means they will clinch the first round by, um, if Pittsburgh were to lose or Buffalo were to lose though, to the, uh, the Patriots or to the Colts, um, that would give the Kansas city chiefs a first round by, uh, KC clinches strength of victory tiebreaker over Pittsburgh or Buffalo and clinches at least a tie in strength of victory. Okay. Over the other clubs. So, okay. So yeah. So Kansas city, if they win Pittsburgh or Buffalo loses, they lock up the number one seed and the playoffs now go through Kansas city. So, uh, my predictions are the Browns clinch. Um, well, I don't know. They, they necessarily can't clinch this week. I don't think, uh, because I'm pretty sure the Colts, Baltimore and, uh, Indy are all about to win this week as well as Cleveland. So that'll complicate things a bit. And, uh, Tennessee, I believe could win this weekend. So they could also clinch a playoff spot. Um, and that kind of makes week 17 very, very interesting because that would mean the Steelers and I believe the Browns would be playing for the division title week 17. That gives everybody, that would make that the game of the fucking year. Probably, um, that could become a war. Um, and it sounds like the chiefs will get the number one seed. So there, there's the AFC, right? So now I think we can flash right over to the NFC. So 
that sounds like the AFC starting to shape up. We got the Bills, Chiefs, Steelers. Um, it's looking like Cleveland. Uh, it's looking like the Colts. Um, and then, then it's also looking like Indy and Miami. Right? That's seven, right? Let's see. Um, it would be the Chiefs, probably the Bills, and Steelers. Um, and then let's, let's go Titans. Um, Browns. Colts. And Dolphins? That seems like that's going to be it, right? Or Ravens. Dolphins or Ravens. One of those two. So it's either the Dolphins or the Ravens don't make it. Um, let, me, let me go through that one more time. So Bills, Chiefs, Steelers. Uh, looks like Browns, Indy, Tennessee. Yeah, Indy or Miami. Those, one of those two teams won't make it. So it's going to be the Dolphins or the Ravens. It's, it, that's, that's who it comes down to, it looks like. But that, those are your most likely, like, who knows? Unless the Steelers lose out, I don't, I don't know. Very interesting. But no, the Steelers are already in the playoffs. So there's three teams already in. I think Cleveland's going to get in. I think the Colts will get in. Titans will obviously get in. And that leaves one spot for Baltimore and Indy to, you know, Baltimore and Miami to figure out. So let me know what you think down below. What do you think the AFC playoffs are going to be? Um, I'll, I'll, I give, I'm going to give my prediction right here. Uh, I think the one seed will be the Chiefs. Two seed will be the Bills. Three seed will be the Titans. Uh, four seed will be the Browns. Five seed will be the Colts. Six seed will be the Steelers. And the seven seed will be the Ravens. Sorry, Miami fans. It's nothing personal. I just think that's how it's gonna shake. I think they have a, I think they have a tiebreaker. Um, I could be wrong though. Could be wrong. All right, NFC. Uh, let's see who's already clinched. The Packers have the NFC North. The Saints and the Seahawks have both clinched playoff berths, so they're in. Um, and now we have to see the other teams. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals play the 49ers. Well, big advantage for them. Arizona can clinch a playoff berth with a win or uh, and a Chicago loss. So if Chicago Bears were to lose to the Jaguars, very unlikely. Uh, Arizona would and Arizona was to beat the Cardinals. Very like or Arizona was to beat the 49ers. Pretty likely they're into the playoffs and uh, they'll be pretty comfortable. Now we can look at the Packers. They clinch a first round bye with a win and a Seattle loss. So if Seattle was to lose to the Rams, which is not which is kind of likely, um, Green Bay will advance and get the number one seed and then be able to rest their starters week 17 if they so choose. That'll be also, it looks like, you know, they play they play the Titans this week. So that's a tough game for Green Bay. Um, the Rams, they can clinch a playoff berth with a win. So if the Rams win, they're in. Uh, Chicago was to lose. Or if, I guess if Arizona beats the 49ers, Somehow the Rams clinch. I, I don't really get how that logic works, but if Arizona wins, I think it puts the... Um, oh, because it clin uh, I think I see how it does that. Okay. Um, that's a little confusing, but I think if Arizona wins, if somehow the Rams clinch. Um, no, that's weird. I don't know how that works, but I think it does some weird stuff and it puts the Rams in the playoffs. That's what it says right here. Arizona winner tie. That's pretty crazy. Um... Oh, someone's put over here, can't the Dolphins clinch with a win and a Ravens loss? I think so. But I I think, I, I think yeah, I think that's also a possibility. Um, but yeah, so the Rams have a plethora of ways to get in. Uh, the New Orleans Saints can clinch the division title with a win, so they just got to beat the Vikings on, a, on Christmas Day. Could be a Christmas miracle for the Saints fans. Drew Brees comes back and wins the division for the team. That would be quite glorious. Um, or if Tampa was to lose to the Lions, very, very unlikely to happen. Um, or if both teams tie, you know, lots of ways Tampa or New Orleans can lock it up. Uh, Seattle can win the division with a win. They have to beat the Rams on Sunday. Hard, tough game that they have to play in. Um, that is not an easy one for them. The Rams, I think, have taken like five or six from them. Would have been six for six if Zerloin didn't miss a 40-yard field goal. And um, so I'm... I don't know if, if Seattle can do that. It would be tough uphill battle. They don't really have a good chance with this. They have a good chance, but, you know, the Rams are the most confusing team this year. Um, and then we have Tampa. They can clinch a playoff berth with a win or a Chicago loss. So if, they, if Tampa was to beat Detroit or if Chicago was to somehow lose to the Jags, which is hilarious, um, then uh, we would get Tampa into the playoffs. They're pretty likely to make it, it's looking like. Um, what else we got going here? 
Uh, Washington football team. They can actually clinch. All right, let's go Washington. We're rooting for Washington. They could be the team if uh, none of the teams I like, you know, the Patriots and Lions are both out. Got to pick a team to watch in the playoffs. Um, Washington or Buffalo could be that team. I do want to root for the Bills. I know, surprising. I'm a big Patriots fan, but I'd like to see the East prosper. I'd like for people to have to eat crow and be like, oh, shit, we just lost the Patriots, and now here comes the Bills. The AFC East will never go away. You thought it was gone. Now it's back. Now we got two teams that are good, and it's pretty nice. Um, so Washington clinches the NFC East division title with uh, a win and a Giants loss. That's it. That's all they have to have happen. If the Giants are unable to beat the Ravens and Washington beats the Carolina Panthers, Washington advances to the playoffs. And guess what? I'm thinking they're going to advance to the playoffs. So this is how the seeding will go down. All right. I'm pretty sure this is my predictions for the NFC, I guess, at this point. Um, we'd, have, we'd have Green Bay with the one seed, probably New Orleans with the two seed. Uh, Seattle, I'm, I'm going to go with Seattle as the, or no, I'm going to go with the Rams as the three seed. Actually, they're going to wind up winning the West. Um, and then, then as the four seed, Washington hilarious. This is hilarious. This is not how anyone's seen this going. Um, and then for the wild cards, you'd probably have Tampa, uh, or Seattle, Tampa. Actually, I'm going to go Seattle still wins the West. Yeah. And then Washington and then the Rams, Tampa, and then Arizona is what it's looking like. Yeah. That's probably what it is. It's going to be Green Bay, New Orleans, Seattle, Washington, the Rams, Tampa, and Arizona. So that seems pretty likely for the NFC. The NFC feels a lot more final, feels a lot more uh, complete than the AFC, which has like four teams that m you never know. Um, so, yeah, that, that's how, how the AFC and NFC playoffs are looking right now. Um, those are the playoff clinching scenarios for this week. Um, let me know what you think down below. Uh, what, what are your predictions? How do you think everything's going to play out? Do you, is your team going to win this week? Is, is there going to be some crazy upsets that um, potentially do just derail a team season? Um, do you think my predictions are bad? Remember, for the AFC, uh, for the NFC, just go back and find them. Let me know your thoughts, your predictions for the way everything will shake out. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, leave your thoughts, all that good stuff. This is a shorter video, I know, but, you know, I'm uploading more later. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me, I'll probably do another one next week for week 17 p uh, playoff scenarios. So here we go. We're getting closer and closer and closer. I'll probably also do a um, playoff playoff prediction video. If the season were to be over right now, who's in, who's out you know, figure it out. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. Leave your thoughts down below. Leave a like, subscribe for new around here, YouTube shit, YouTube stuff, blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, thank you. Peace out. Go Patriots, go Lions. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye.